you guys. Uh, Honor, how has today been so far? It's been awesome. We had a whole bunch of fantastic fighters from all over the U.S. here. Uh, gave us a good fight. Um, heading to the finals. Uh, looking forward to that. Yeah, and uh, how was the drive from uh, San Antonio to uh, Ardmore? Um, was it like last night or like? It was, was you guys awesome. Getting... We came up on Thursday night, so the day before weigh-ins. Got a nice night's rest, all ready to go. Um, slept well and uh, came in all uh, ready to be ready. Awesome. So, yeah. yeah. Like, what weight class do you fight at? Right now? Uh, 147 to 154. So I came in awesome. at about 154 even. How was the weight cut? Like, oh, did you have to cut any weight for this? It, yeah, I cut uh, about 10 pounds a couple months back. So I had all the work had been done. So it was actually pretty easy. I just watched what I ate and got here. And it was pretty good. Awesome. And like, how many fights have you had today? Uh, two today, none before that. And all victories or like uh, yep. how did the fights go? Huh? Yep, yep. We got um, a win on both the first one this morning at 11.30. And then this one just now, we just finished up and we're looking to uh, take the final. So yeah. Awesome. And like what sets your, uh, what's different than all of your other opponents that like, you have an advantage over? I tend to think that I'm uh, a little bit uh, furious at times and um, that I am very focused. And it also helps that um, I've got a great team of all these guys who each one of them with their specialty to know what they're doing. So <clears throat> clear mind and then with all these guys back here cheering you on. Yeah, awesome. That sets up a good package. Yeah, and you know, you have uh, Peter Sandnick in your corner as one of your coaches. You know, he fights in Bellator. Uh, what what can you so say about his uh, leadership? Peter is just a, a pinnacle of uh, excellence in, in what he does. He is completely dedicated to what he does in training for both himself and for everyone else he works with. And what that means is when time comes for him to actually fight, he's there and he's the one who's bringing it to everyone else. So mm -hmm. Peter's just an awesome example of that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's cool. Dude. And do you have like a nickname? Is like Fury like your working nickname right now or like do you have yet to? Uh, I, I heard something about Captain Loki, but I don't know. I don't know if that should stick being that we need to be getting more. Like it's Captain Love Kick for the moment. Nice. And what's your like signature move inside the Muay Thai uh, ring? Um, I'd say I, I favor leg kicks and knees in the clinch. That's something I really love doing. Um, not, I'm not super uh, flexible at times getting stuff up high, but get me a little clinch and then throw a good knee. I'm happy with that. Yeah. And how many fights are you looking to have tomorrow? Uh, just one. We got finals, and that's it. So uh, we're gonna give it everything we got for a good nine minutes or so, and then be out of there. And take yeah. That belt. Do you have a missing Mac prediction for how the fight goes tomorrow? Humbly, humbly, <laughs> I would like to say I take it, but we'll see. We'll awesome. See. Oh, thanks for the thanks, interview, man. man. Uh, and what's your tag on uh, Insta on social media? Howard Honor, just straight Howard Honor. Awesome. Well, we'll thanks for the time. Appreciate it, guys. Uh -huh. thanks, man. Hi guys, Chris from MMA Allen here. Uh, today we're going to be talking with Matt, uh, Matthew Volpe. Yes. Uh, how, how's it going today? Good, feeling good. Uh, we had the two fights today. You know, We had a lot of victories all around as a team. Uh, so we're feeling good. good. And what can you say uh, about like the matches that you had? Was it like a dominant? Was it uh, you know, lopsided in your uh, victory? What can you say about what you learned in uh, the matchup today? I felt that they were back and forth, honestly. It, like the rounds honestly felt back and forth to me. But I mean, I just felt like I was landing, I thought that he was landing, and I mean, I just came out on top. Awesome, and what weight class do you fight at right now? I think it's welterweight, shoot, 147. Nice. Yeah. And like, did you have to count any weight for this fight, or like, how did the weight cut go? About 10 pounds, it wasn't too bad at all, actually. The weight cut was, felt kind of natural, honestly. Mm -hmm. And how was the trip from uh, San Antonio to Ardmore? It was, it was fun, I rode with my cousin, shout out Peter over there, but uh, it was fun, I mean, just get on the road, I mean, coming to some place new, always fun. Yeah, and what can you say about uh, Peter as a coach? You know, he's been a Bellator, and like maybe uh, that's something you would want to go to someday. Uh, but uh, what do you have to say about him? As a coach? I can't say enough about this dude. He is such he's a great guy overall. You know, a good person. Like he always has our best uh, in interest. You know, like he's just he's a leader. He gets us he gets us ready. He knows what we need, and just a great guy overall. Yeah, and like, what are some of your dreams that you have, like, towards like, future promotions, like maybe Glory Kickboxing, uh, Bellator, like, yeah, UFC, yeah. like, obviously UFC, like, that's the big one, but Bellator, Glory, oh, Fury, yeah. all that should be, like, you know? Yeah, yeah and, for sure. And, like, uh, do you practice more martial arts than Muay Thai, or, like, do you uh, go into uh, 
Jiu Jitsu and stuff like that. Like, what are a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of boxing, but mainly Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Yes. And uh, like, do you have like any nicknames? Like, I'm big on nicknames. You know, like, uh, uh, do you have any nicknames? I haven't set that up yet, but I'll get back to you with that one. <laughs> I need to figure one out. But, yeah. uh, and then, uh, do you only have one fight tomorrow? Yes, championship. Uh, what's your prediction for how that fight goes? I don't know. I'm just gonna stick with the game plan and just. Go with the flow, you know, just gonna do what I need to do. Awesome. Well, thanks again for the time today. Yeah, yeah appreciate and, uh, it. Uh, where can we uh, follow you on uh, like social media? Instagram, Matthew underscore Volpe. Awesome. Uh -huh. Thank you, Matthew. Appreciate it. Hi, guys. Chris from MMA on here. Today, we're interviewing Juan uh, Boris. Uh, Juan, how's it going? I'm all right. I'm a little tired. Fight just ended, but I feel good. How did that fight go? Uh, it was a long, hard fight. He fought back. He had a lot of my shots, a lot of leg kicks. I hit him so many times with leg. Overhands, tough guy, but I'm happy with the performance. It felt like I was in a fight. And did you fight twice today? Yeah, the first fight uh, got early KO, first round, and this one is easy. Yeah, does uh, getting like a first round KO like you did today, like, does that just increase your confidence like, for the final spot? A little bit, yeah. That was a little surprising that he went down so early, but yeah, it really does boost my confidence. It shows that all the hard work I've been putting in the past couple months is really working out. And uh, how are you going to uh, chasing the show into a multi? Uh, I used to play football. I've been a competitive athlete my whole life. Uh, after my football career ended, I kind of wanted to uh, strive at something. I wanted to compete, not just you know go to the gym, just regular at the gym. I wanted to compete at something and then uh, fall in love with Muay Thai. Yeah, uh, why did you choose to go to ambush uh, Muay Thai instead of like, any other gym? And uh, what what impact has it? Uh, man, it's just a great family environment in ambush. You know, everybody's everybody's helping each other all the time. There's no egos at ambush. It's it's it's, it's one for all. All the time, you know, we're, we're a team, we're preparing ourselves to, together to, to try and get better together. Mm -hmm. And do you have anything to say about your coach up here, Santa Lake? Like, you know, been up there with the best, Raymond Daniels. Man. Uh, what, what can you say about I that? Own, I own so much. He's a professional fighter, and he doesn't, he doesn't have to help us, you know. It's, I'm less than three years into this, he, and he's been at it for like a decade. And he's in there in the gym every every day, helping me be better and better. He's been preparing me for this tournament for months on end. He really doesn't have to do that, bro, you know, and I'm thankful for it. And do you have like a prediction for how the fight goes tomorrow? Uh, win. Win. Win in a belt. Win in a belt. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, like what are some of your dreams like outside, like after this tournament? Uh, like do you have any uh, dreams of being in an organization like the UFC or like going kickboxing? Or, yeah. What are some of your dreams? Yeah, it's just one step at a time right now. I'm just trying to get better. You know, you know when I'm training with him every day, you, you, you see what the top of the mountain looks like, and, and I'm nowhere near that yet. So I'm just focused on getting better and better every day, and uh, helping my teammates get better. And I'm big on nicknames. Uh, you know, like all the fighters I interview, I ask how they get their nicknames. Do you have, do you have one at the moment? I don't really have a nickname, but my teammate Tamar, he always calls me Three P, so I, I guess that would be my nickname, Three P. I don't know. That's what Tamar calls me. So he calls me. Awesome. Well, uh, look forward to tomorrow and. Uh, where can uh, people find you like on social media? At Teron Morris 98, uh, T E R R O N M O R R I S 98 on all platforms, Twitter and Instagram. Follow your boy.